Hi YouTube, today I'll be installing a new head on my Echo Weed Eater and this is the 450 head but pretty much it's the same setup on the 400 it's just the 450 is a little bigger and um, it's the reason I like the 450 is because I could put more string and stuff in it but anyways um, I will be this I bought this this was like 34 something if I went online I can probably get a little bit cheaper but anyways uh, I'll also be giving you kind of a review on mine. I had this one right there for about three years. The cap on it, it worked fine. Just I know sometimes the cap would fall off and well, it fell off and I can't find it. So instead of me buying a new cap, it was like a new cap and spring and that other piece, that little rubber piece. You might as well just buy a new one. One cost me like $23. Then these were a little bad. These little things right here. And for me to get replace these, these all of that one cost me close to like what was it, twenty seven I think. So I figured for five dollars more I have to get the whole mechanism. So that's what I got. So anyways, we're gonna get into it now. So the first step is to take off this guard. On this weed ear, you have this little cutout. I mean, to take off the head, you have this cutout on the guard right there. Now, some is right here is different angles, but for this model, it's right here. So what you want to do is, let's see if we get a good view of that. Look inside this, the little cutout, and if we spin it. Oh, and I'm using a, a drill because you need a little small thing that could go in there, like a small screwdriver. But I just you took a drill bit, so I think I can find. Now, can you see in there good? Yeah. So you want to line it up and you want to spin the head until you see the hole, which is right, right there. Do you see it now? That little mark's actually by it. And you want to poke it through all the way through the hole. Okay, so once it's in the hole all the way, you notice you can't spin anymore. So what you want to do is you want to spin it righty tighty, because this is threaded opposite. It's if you turn it left, it makes it tighter. If you turn it right, is how you take it off. So facing it, like if this is facing you, you want to turn it clockwise, and now it's off, just like that. So this is my old head, and it's still a fine head. I, I just I was missing the cap for it, so I might still keep it. Anyways, this is the piece here. Let's check this out. Look at all that grass. Do you see that? Now, when this is off, I like to clean it. See all that bad grass in there? I'm going to clean all of that out. All of this. And I'm also just going to clean the bottom of my weed ear. I'm going to do that off camera, but I'm just going to clean all by the housing there. And I'll get back to you when it's clean. So I got this cleaned out. I didn't super clean it, but I got all that just years of I not cleaning it. Get my head off. It smells new. This is a spacer for it when it's installed. I'll show you how to do that. And it even comes with some string, but this string sometimes I don't know how long it's been in here, it could be bad. But that's the 450 head, which is the same same head I had on mine. It's uh, I'll show I'll walk you through the head later, but for now, I'm going to start getting ready to install this. So to add this, I want to add this spacer to it. So in order to do that, I have to add this new. If this is optional, but I kind of want to do it because my last one didn't have it, and I think. I just want to try what it'll be like with it. So I, this came with the kit, and this is to add your spacer to it. So what you want to do with your new head is I did this off camera. I you it's here. I'll show you. You got these two things to take off the cap. So you want to push them in. Anyways, your cap falls off. When your cap's off, your string's in here. You want to take out your string, and I already took out my string. 
to speed up the video. Now this is what you want out. So I'm going to pop this out. Now what I have to do is this brass thing, I have to pop it out and replace it with this because this is longer for the spacer. So I'm going to get my hammer. I'm going to push down on this. So this is a cap. I'm going to use this cap and push down on it. Oops, push down too hard. Push down on this side now. Okay. Perfect. So now this I have to add. And I'm just going to line it up here. Do the first layer. Bend it. You have to position this just right. Right there. You push it all the way through. Just like that is how you install the spacer. So next I'm going to start installing this piece back on. And see I have a, if you look, I have just a little bit more room. Just probably an eighth of an inch. Not that much longer. But anyways, that's how you do it. So next I have to install the piece back on. And you want where the one's facing this way. The R needs to be facing down. Now I'm going to add my cap back on. These caps are. Okay. The cap's on. Just like that. Now I'm going to add this back piece. Okay, back piece is on. So that's how you install the spacer. So now that I got the new one in for the spacer, which I'm not really sure why, because it looks about the same size as the gold one that did. It, I don't know if I don't have it pressed in all the way, which I do. I'm just not sure why it's just as flush. But anyways, um, if any of you guys know, let me know. But this fits on just fine. So next I need to add this piece back. And when you line it up, make sure it's on there good, which it is. So the next piece is I'm going to install my spacer on. And I do want to show you this did not have the spacer on it. This one, my old head. And as you can see, you have this very worn down area right here which lines up perfectly with this so that's what happens when you don't add a spacer which i'm not for sure why because um this didn't have a spacer on it i don't know why they must have not done it from the factory but this is a spacer you have two sides this side and you have the side with all the lines and stuff through it you want to go on this side and you want to make it fit it fits real nice and snug not snug but like it fits nice up against the gap so next comes the install. So I'm going to put the head on now. Now remember, you have to go counterclockwise. And you want to bite. Okay. Which, it's biting now, so now I have to reline out, put the screwdriver in, and then tighten it all the way. Nice and snug. And check for play. There's no play. So you know it's done right. Okay, so now I want to show you how to add string in this head in case you don't know. On the old one, you can see there's two arrows on it. Same one as this. So I'm going to flip it this way. So you guys can see. There's one arrow. And I like the spacers because now I can see the arrows a lot easier. So with one arrow, you want to line it up to this to the part right, right there. So you have the arrow part. And if yours ain't lined up, all you do is you push down and you turn your head uh, counterclockwise as you're holding this in place until they're lined up. Now once it's lined up, you poke, you should be able to see through it, which I can. And this is a speed feed. 
is all the way through both sides of the head just like that so now I'm going to walk it down make sure the pieces are even which they are on my end so now what I do is I grab it just a few clicks and I start spinning it and that's the speed feed the speed feed feature and just like that this is why I like the echo oh and this video isn't sponsored by the way so all these parts and everything I bought just like that that's how you do it thank you for watching and stay tuned for more